Modern trade demands packaging. Packaging that protects. Packaging that ensures better logistics. Packaging that sells. Plastic, metal, carton packaging, corrugated cardboard, glass, beverage cartons. The trade and industry sector ensures the recovery and recycling of packaging in a safe and environmentally sound way. Green Dot Norway plays a key part in the Norwegian voluntary collective work on recycling and energy recovery of packaging. We aim for all players to pay the fees that finance the extra costs connected with recycling of packaging. Such fees finance the recovery schemes necessary to meet the requirements set in the industry-wide agreements and allow the environmental taxes on beverages packaging to stay as low as possible. The key term is extended producer responsibility. Utvidet producentansvar handler om at de som producerer og selger produkter skal ta ansvar for produktene også når de ender som avfall og sørge for miljømessig forsvarlig behandling. Og det innebærer også at produsentene skal ta hensyn til avfallskostnaden når de produserer produktene, slik at man skal lage produkter som forårsaker minst mulig skade når det ender opp som avfall. Green Dot Norway sees to it that this system works. On behalf of the trade and industry sector, we have taken charge of administrating the financing of the recovery and recycling schemes, and we see to it that they work. In addition, we run the recovery schemes for beverage cartons, packaging carton and plastic packaging. The municipalities themselves have the responsibility for the waste collection from households. It's up to each municipality to decide what materials they want to collect and how they collect it. The waste recovery systems therefore vary somewhat between the different municipalities. In the trade and industry sector, there are specialized companies that collect waste from companies. Green Dot Norway and the material companies have made agreements with these, and that ensures that the source-separated waste gets collected and recycled. This is about packaging produced and or consumed in connection with the company's operations. Most companies have agreements with private waste collectors to handle this kind of used packaging, and the handling implies source separation and recovery. The individual company itself pays for this, directly to the collector. This is a cost not covered by the license fee. The system keeps the materials in a sustainable life cycle. Our work saves the environment emissions to the order of 350,000 tons of carbon dioxide a year. It's the money the trade and industry sector pays to Green Dot that ensures the packaging getting recycled. The fees are, in their entirety, used to cover the extra costs of the recovery schemes, i.e. recovery, recycling and information measures. It's the companies themselves who report how much packaging they send out on the market, and they pay fees according to this. Green Dot thus gets an overview of all use of packaging in the Norwegian market, and can thereby measure how much of it that gets recycled. These results are reported to the Climate and Pollution Agency, which in turn reports the Norwegian results to the EU. The system is divided into different material types. Green Dot Norway works to ensure the financing of recovery schemes for plastic packaging, glass and metal packaging, corrugated cardboard, carton packaging and beverage cartons. There are specific material companies that handle recovery and recycling of the source-separated packaging. These are Norsk Glasjenvinning AS, Norsk Metalljenvinning AS, Norsk Resy AS, Plastretur AS, Norsk Returkartong AS. Green Dot manages the operations of the plastic recovery company and the beverage cartons and carton packaging recovery company. The other companies run their own operations. Green Dot has classified the companies into different categories to make reporting on the consumption of packaging easier. The commodity manufacturer uses packaging to store, transport and present his products. This type of company is also called packer and filler. The commodity importer has to pay for the imported packaging, both for what wraps the commodity and the packaging used for transport. For practical reasons, the manufacturer and the importer of the packaging itself pay fees for some types of packaging. They then only pay for the packaging which ends up in the Norwegian market. 
the packaging importer has to pay for all packaging products he brings into the country. It's important to show that the materials are actually recycled and become new raw materials, ending up as new products. This plant recycles used plastic film from the trade and industry sector as well as from the agricultural sector. The finished product is a regenerate used in the production of new sacks, carrier bags and films. Another plastic material is polystyrene, styrofoam or EPS as its real name is. When this is securely source separated and collected, the process required for it to be used as raw material in the plastics industry is short. Every kilo of material recycled plastic saves two kilos of oil. Source separation of glass and metal is something we know well. This is a well-established industry with ever-improving separation technology. We get glass and metal from the whole country, all in one hand. We can take a blend of glass because we have a unique separation system here, where we can separate out all the colors and what we want of colors. When it comes to metal, separerer vi det ut ifra glasset med hjelp av overbomsmagneter og virvelstrømsmagneter. A lot of packaging is cardboard and carton. Also for these materials there have been established efficient recovery schemes and modern recycling plants. A unit-based environmental tax is imposed on beverage cartons. The recycling percentage gives a corresponding reduction from the environmental tax. Recycling as much and as many beverage cartons as possible therefore makes good sense, also financially. It's therefore important to develop new technology, like automatic sorting plants that scan recovered paper. Advanced technology is required for the beverage cartons to be identified and separated from the rest. Beverage cartons are transported to carton factories in Sweden for recycling. Specialized plants ensure sound environmental economics, the transport answering for only 2% of the process's energy consumption. The principle of extended producer responsibility was the basis for the industry-wide agreements that were introduced in Norway in 1995. The trade and industry sector took their responsibility. Source separation and recycling has now become the standard for used packaging. The recycling percentages are in general high and on the whole within the agreements with the environmental authorities. Green Dot depends on as many as possible participating in the voluntary effort on waste packaging. That's how we can keep license fees low while doing a good job for the environment and society at large. Green Dot is corporate social responsibility in action. Først og fremst tror jeg ikke det er noe godt alternativ til grønn punkt i Norge. Hvis man skulle tenkt seg et alternativ, så ville miljøet ha tapt, og det ville ha vært innført avgifter og skatter på emballasje og produkter i en helt annen kategori enn det vi har i dag. Alternativet til dagens frivillig baserte retursystem ville fort kunne blitt at staten hadde presset på en bestemt ordning, et avgiftsbasert system, det ville hatt en god del ulemper. Jeg tror næringslivet selv er tjent med at de tar ansvar for å gjenvinne avfallet sitt gjennom disse frivillige ordningene som fungerer veldig bra i dag. Vi støtter og vil alltid støtte og vil alltid være medlem av Grønn Punkt, og det bør absolutt alle andre også være.